Aerial coverage provided by Goodyear, celebrating the blimp-worthy athletes who show hard work, determination, and grit on and off the court. Goodyear, more driven. These guys show grit on and off the court as well. Here's your uh, your three uh, All NBA teams. First I'll take team. that five, and y'all can get anybody else in the league with uh, Dame Lillard, James Harden, Kevin Durant, LeBron, and Anthony Davis. I'll take that five. Give me your second team. Oh, okay. DeRozan and Westbrook in the oh. backcourt. Giannis, LaMarcus Aldridge. I, I think Joel the second Embiid. team could beat the first team. You tripping me? I like uh, that seven team. I'm telling you, that seven team. team is really good. Well, they're all they're all really good. Oladipo, Steph Curry, Curry. Victor Oladipo, okay. Jimmy Butler, Paul George, and Carl Anthony Towns. Your third uh, team, all NBA. What's the criteria for that? Uh, get the most oh, votes. Yeah, it's it's, no, it's but, no, 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 So they look at points. We were like, how does everything? everything. No, everything. Yeah. Kind of what, is, how would you weigh same it? Guy, Jack? Same Everyone way you do all it. stars and yeah. Yeah. what would be your one? Listen. What would be one, two, three? Points. I don't want wins. What would it be for you? I don't want to call guys out, but I don't see Steph Curry's third team All NBA. I'm just saying. <laughs> he missed a lot of games. And. So what, what do you see him as? I see him at least first or second. Okay. He can't be. He Over missed here. too much of the season. Okay. Jack. But, yeah, all right. He has his opinion. All right, so that's the criteria then. You can't miss games. No, that's yeah. not you can't miss half the season. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm just checking. Everybody has their own rationale. Hey, well, you when, they out, when they fill well, out the ball. You want on the first team, too? He missed um, the whole season. I'm just checking, Chuck. I'm just <laughs> asking questions, man. Hey, I don't know the criteria. I'm just checking. While you were at uh, Justin Timberlake last night. Screaming like a 16-year-old. The Boston Celtics were taking a 3-2 lead over the Cleveland yeah, Cavaliers. I found out, I found out why Eastern LeBron Conference was tired. Fired. Why was he tired? Oh, them Celtics had his foot on his neck. <laughs> That's why he was tired. Stop it, America. You're celebrating too early. I don't know. I'm Relax. not celebrating at all. Relax. I hate all Relax. these guys. He was tired. Yeah. He was I'm tired. tired. I don't he was tired because it's just to have their foot on his neck. I don't know if that Stop. really is part of the story. We'll find out as we hear from Dennis Scott. <laughs> oh, poor baby's tired. As the Eastern Conference Finals shifts back to Cleveland for Game 6, there have been some consistent themes in this series. Number one, who smacks first in the first quarter normally rides the wave for the rest of the game. Number two, home court advantage. It seems like the role players make shots and play better basketball. Yeah, I've never played in a series where home court seemed to matter so much. I mean, uh, we've just played really bad here in Boston, and, and uh, they probably feel the same way of how, how they played in Cleveland. Um, but thank God we're going home next, and hopefully we'll... We'll play better and force the game seven. We're going to have to, to, to play a great game come Friday um, because, you know, they're, they're tough at home. Uh, that's uh, at least in our series, they, you know, they just had their way. So um, we have to make sure that we're really um, focused and committed to playing the right way. Going back home, we have a comfort level and our, a lot of our guys have a comfort level of being back home and, and playing off the fans and playing off our crowd, playing off that court. You know, being more comfortable being back home for game six. So, you know, we look forward to having an opportunity to uh, force a game seven. It's the first series I've been a part of that both teams play completely different on the road. Um, go back home, backs against the wall. It's kind of been our thing this whole year. So, guys got to be ready to leave it all in line. It's win or go, go Cancun. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Um, One, two, three. That would not be in my Celtics. statement. That wouldn't be in my vote. Okay. The a bold Celtics, statement, America. The Celtics went, went to 10 and 0 at home in this in these playoffs, despite shooting just 37 percent in that game. Um, but they jumped out 32 to 19. They beat him at the free throw line. They beat him with the three ball. Cleveland turned the ball over 15 times. Uh, is this just going to continue? Is this now when they go back to Cleveland, Shaq? Is it going to be okay? If Pencil Cleveland, in the Cavs and let's go to a game seven in if Boston. Cleveland wins at home tomorrow. They will definitely win game seven. You said that yesterday. No, I didn't. I didn't say that yesterday. You, you said they were going to win game five. I never said. I, I don't. I don't do that. But I'm letting you know. If they win you tomorrow, guarantee. Say the guarantee. And if they win today tomorrow, they're going to win. Guarantee. Because young fellas, they're playing well. And the game seven will be a pressure game. They're you know, all pressure games. No, no, they're all not pressure games. Close our games are pressure game, but the game seven for the young fellas will be a pressure game. And in order for them not to be young fellas anymore, they have to withstand Wait. the pressure and overcome the pressure. I'm so, just saying. So, but I'm I'm saying, saying but you don't think it was pressure on them last night? Because if they lost last night, 
they it wasn't going to win. Why not? It wasn't pressure. They were flowing. Everybody was into the game. They I, know they I play would, well at home, but if they I get, get to this with, game I, seven, I, I, if they I get agree. to this game seven. Because in the back of your mind, when you always know that there is another game. You can play free. You do play oh, a little free. You play but free. But you say. And you know that thing right there now, they're no playing tomorrow. well at home. There is no other no game. They can't make no mistakes at home, and that's going to be on their mind. Last game at our crib, we can't make no mistakes. You don't think mistakes. game seven is more pressure than any oh, game ever? Right. No, but I'm saying for that young team last night. That was a great well. To get beat down like they did in Cleveland. Yeah, but they're going back home. No, no. They're going back home. But I'm saying for those young kids. To get beat down like they did in games three and four, to come out and spank the Cavs last night, that was impressive. That I that mean, I think at we home, still got one or two have, more games. Yeah, they have played so much. They have got the energy baskets at home, meaning every loose ball, their first two. Every, how do you protect, every scramble, their first two. On the road, they don't play the with energy. the same athleticism and energy. Not just their execution. How do you what? And how do you protect home court advantage? You got to keep winning at their own, right? Yeah. So yeah. the game seven is going to be a lot of pressure. I'm just saying. Oh, all right. I, I'm, I, I, hey, I'm not I, mad at that statement. Hey, I'm just telling you, I was very impressed. They, like I said, to get smacked, the Cavs had all the momentum. So they came out right away and smacked the Cavs and never looked back. That Kenny, was impressive. As a player and as an analyst, how many guys? How many teams have you seen fold under that game seven home pressure? Game seven is tough. Very tough. It's, diff it's, it's a different animal. And when you're first time being in it against the king, the guy who's been there nine, eight, nine straight times going for his ninth time, that does add a bet. But I so do so believe. You're, you're saying it's because of their youth that they will lose game seven because I'm not, I'm home not, teams win game seven 80% of the time. I'm not saying. I'm, I'm just saying. And this young is team. And this would be different type of pressure. In order, in order for them not to be youthful anymore, they have to overcome and withstand wait, that so, pressure. Uh, if they overcome and withstand mean, this pressure, wait, then we can't lean on youth anymore. Well, you mean like game seven against Milwaukee? That's Milwaukee. That's the Bucks. Yeah, that, ain't, that ain't LeBron James. That, 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 so, that ain't the same. Yeah, they the already won. They've already won a, they've already a won game. Freaking but that's not, that's that's not, not the it. king who's it's been there nine it. straight, eight straight times to the uh, NBA Finals out of the East. They smacked the king three games in a row. By the way, all right. The last non LeBron team to represent the East in the Finals, the Celtics of 2010. That's my point. And they will try to take that step. Come on, on man. Friday night. Hey, hey, nobody's done it since oh, 2010. London, my daughter wasn't even born oh, yet. When we come <laughs> back, oh, the, king, the king is tired. We got a special guest when we come oh, back. It's Aaron Rodgers. The best quarterback in the world. What's up, baby? He's wearing a little Milwaukee Bucks yeah. colors right there, and for good reason. We'll be talking to Aaron in a second. I bet you Aaron won't be tired for a game like my man was last night.